How you doing? Welcome to another Cigar Assessor Cigar Video Review. Today I have the pleasure of reviewing and smoking the H. Upman Banker. Look at that. Now, I've smoked a couple of these. Thank you to the great people over there at all to this because they were sent me some. And uh, not just one, but they sent me quite a few so that I can uh, enjoy the cigar and review the cigar. So I once again I like to say thank you to the people over there at Altidus. Um, I really enjoy this cigar and uh, we're gonna actually we just took this off and um, so we're gonna do the cigar without a band. First time! First time! It's for first time for everything. So look at that nice looking nut brown stick minimal veinage and um, very nice filling this cigar is a filled with Nicaraguan and Dominican the binder is Nicaraguan and the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano very nice now uh, I'm gonna give this beautiful thing a sniff Very nice smell. Got a little bit of Cuban-esque smell to it. Very much. I'm getting cocoa, even chocolate from the foot. That's strong, strong cocoa and chocolate from the foot. Let's give this a cut with my Calibri V-Cut. Best V-Cut on the market. Um, and the price point is incredible. It's a little windy over here today. So you just go like that and you pop it out. It gives you that nice, beautiful cut. There we go. Nice open drawer of chocolate. Nice. Mm. I passed uh, a couple of these out to my friends, and uh, they really enjoyed them. I mean, it, it's I haven't heard any bad things about this in my circles. It's been a very, very good cigar, very good smoke. I'm going to light it right now with my Calibri Stealth 3, which is a three-torch pyramid. So it goes to the middle of the cigar. So you don't get your wrapper all, you know, cooked. Very mild woody note, a hint of sweetness. Full creamy smoke. Look at that beautiful ash holding on. Nice gray marble ash. Uh, very well constructed stick. I'm enjoying it very much. Flavors of molasses, white pepper, cedar, and coffee so far in this first half of the cigar and I, I know it's not exactly a half but that's what I'm getting from this with the full creamy smoke I'm really enjoying it very much um, I wanted to uh, say man congratulations in Jersey New Jersey uh, that's a beautiful thing they're gonna be able to open up some more cigar lounges uh, you know I wish the the government and the FDA and all those uh, people would just stay out of our business we are adults we know all the risks we take I mean even with for me I ride a motorcycle and I have to wear a helmet but he, I don't want the government telling me I have to wear it when I was back east I never wore it but out here I have to wear it 
Well, you don't know. You don't know. You do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't know. So, I have another segment I want to try. Um, a uh, few people, uh, you know, they, they contact me and they ask me certain things. And um, so I'm going to have, uh, put this right here. And I want to have a segment from the mailbox. So here's the mailbox coming. We open the mailbox. Pull out the letter. And it's addressed to the cigar recessor. Okay, let's see what it has to say. Dear Cigar Recessor, I noticed you stopped using the term veinage. You started saying veins, and I really enjoyed when you said veinish. Veinage. Um, could you please put it back in? Well, if, if you have noticed already, I did say veinage. I coined the term veinage. As you can see, it's still pumping out the full creamy smoke, getting flavors of cedar, and some sweetness and coffee in the last half very enjoyable cigar and it is a cigar assessors approved cigar if you are in your local brick and mortar and you see it pick it up give it a shot you will not be disappointed um, I was smoking my uh, smoking I was drinking my Virgil's cream soda with it beautiful drink all natural sugar no corn syrup high fructose corn syrup or any of those other uh, bad additives that are in other soda also we cut this with the Calibri V cut best V cut on the market and we use the Calibri stealth 3 to light it and didn't have to use it that much because the cigar never went out it burned perfectly the line uh, yeah, and make sure you go down to your local brick and mortars and support them because those are the guys that are fighting for your rights to smoke premium cigars. Especially, they're on the front lines fighting so that the FDA doesn't start regulating this stuff. And then, you know, no more cigar bans or no more humidors to walk into. So, get down there, help them out. Uh, and if you see the any Calibri products, I guarantee you, you will like, no, you will love this cutter. Many people I have let use it, ended up buying it. And they weren't even V-cut people, but they really like the way it cuts the cigar. Mm -hmm.